Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Josh McGowan again. In a minute. Uh, long story about that. You know, 2022, we were supposed to reset, start over. Uh, new stuff come. We're all excited about the new me, new you, new year. Well, that's not exactly how it happened. So for me, as the head of the household, uh, I have to obviously make sure everybody is good in my family, make sure everybody is safe. Everything that is best for my family happens. They put them in the best situation to succeed, not just for myself, but my wife, my kids, and the whole house. The COVID uh, makes it a little more difficult. And immediately I, I'm, like everything goes silent. I don't know what to do, what to say. I'm pretty sure I didn't hear anything else after that. All I heard was, you're positive. I was angry and frustrated and confused, sad. Um, it's so many different emotions uh, that came, came through my mind at that time. I'm like, thank God, you know, it's finally negative. But then the same day, I test negative, my son tests positive. Now, no contact with me, he got it from school. And I'm like, God. So it's like bittersweet on that day. I still couldn't go home. That was tough. It goes from me, and then my son tests positive. When I test negative, I'm out, he's in. And then my wife tests positive. What else can we take? So this thing affected my family, I think both in a good and a bad way. Um, it, it's kind of catch 22. So my wife and I, we had to start over like our relationship from like calling and texting, talking on the phone, FaceTiming. Like we just first started dating and it was great. I mean, it, it, felt, it felt like we were reconnecting again on a different level. Uh, your heart gets, uh, fond of someone when you're away from them. So, uh, you know, I was missing her. She was missing me. It was, it was a good opportunity for us to kind of get back to the basics. Uh, as for the kids, uh, I remember my youngest saying, the pieces to the puzzle uh, are not right. The, the pieces are missing. Daddy's not here. And I'm like, oh. The puzzle is not complete because I'm not there. And you never really know what kind of effect you have, you know, when, when you're not there, even though they know you're here, you see, they see you on FaceTime, but you're not in the house, like absent physically. And when you normally are there. So that 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 makes a whole different dynamic for my kids, especially my son when, you know, is looking for me to to be there for him. If anybody's out there dealing with COVID, definitely take it seriously. But also understand that it could be a time for you to sit back and reflect and realize some stuff that you need to get together. I got my stuff together, man. I realized that, hey, I gotta make some moves. I made a lot of packs, you know, with myself and my wife and make all these resolutions and stuff uh, that you're gonna do this and that. And be careful what you ask for. The gates are gonna open, man. When you when you ask for something, you're gonna get something in return. Trust me. I'm gonna treat myself better physically. I'm gonna I'm gonna treat my body better. I'm gonna eat better, drink better, exercise, all those things. Let's go 2022. I'm gonna do it. Not just because of New Year's resolution, but I need to do that indefinitely. But as soon as I did that COVID. So <laughs> I make I make the the pack in front of in front of God and the devil's listening to me. So God's like, okay, I got you. But let's see if you're serious. Let's see if you're for real about this thing. Are you still gonna keep this pack to yourself? Are you still gonna keep this word? Are you still gonna keep your own promise when it doesn't feel good? When your body is being fought, are you still gonna come back and fight back and do what you said you're gonna do? I am. If we, if we ask for something, we're gonna get the rain. 
if we if we if you make a word saying you're gonna do something, trust me, you're gonna get something on the opposite end that comes with it. In every action, there's a reaction. If you put an action to something that you you're about to make a resolution or whatever it is you're gonna do, do this differently. You're gonna be determined, motivated. It's gonna be something to come out against you. It's not gonna be free reign. You're not gonna get just. You're not gonna get to do what you want to do without some adversity. So be sure that that's what you want. The other stuff is gonna come with it. Trust me. But my advice to everybody that's dealing with COVID right now: this too shall pass. Not gonna last always. And to those who have lost someone to COVID. Our prayers and our hearts go out to you. God has a plan for all this. It's all for a reason. We're in this together. We can do it. You can do it. Just keep pushing. We're gonna get through this. And on the back side of it, we'll be able to look back and say, man, we did that. It was tough. It was tough, but we did it together. We did it together. If you are serious about doing something in 2022, you need to be ready for the stuff that comes with it. 2022 is all about you. It's all about you. The stuff is going to come at you, but you need to fight back. You got this. It's going to work out. You've been working hard all 2021 and before. Giving into other people's lives. Doing all these great things, but now it's going to be about you. You're gonna push through COVID, you're gonna push through the adversity, you're gonna push through all these things, you're gonna make it. Everybody, please, please don't forget. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and always keep it real. Peace.